Alright, hey guys, I was not expecting that package to arrive today. Uh, the online tracking was actually telling me that it, was, it hadn't been picked yet. So I see it somehow as a game changer for my videos. Uh, I've been a little unproductive in terms of videos lately. So hopefully because it cost me quite a bit of money, it will motivate me to get back to it. And yeah, I think that uh, hopefully it will improve my quality of footage a lot. So what is it, I guess? It's a new camera. It's the Sony RX100 Mark VI. Uh, if you look it up, it's a pretty expensive camera. I found it on eBay for a pretty good deal. Uh, still warranty from October to November, so pretty good. So yeah, I'm just gonna unpack it quickly. Uh, it didn't came with the actual box, but I was born of it. It was part of the deal. Actually, I was, it told me it was a, it would be a shoe box, but it's a kid's shoe box. So I was like, how, where, where do you get so small shoes? Anyway, so yeah, uh, that's a pretty cool camera. Really, like it, it was released in August of this year, so pretty recent. And I hope I can make good stuff with it. So I chose this camera because of its obvious portability. As you may know if you follow my channel uh, or if you've seen some of my other videos, uh, I like to keep it very light in terms of uh, gear because of motorcycle travel and traveling in general. So the downside is probably the battery, the price, and it's maybe not as uh, versatile and you cannot do as many things as with a DSLR, but I wouldn't consider it DSLR because I think they're too big for my type of videos and for whatever I do with it. So yeah, so I think it's gonna be a pretty good thing pretty good investment I hope and I can have some good fun with it and really make a very big difference in terms of my video production. In about a month I'm going to New York so I wanted to get it before I went to New York and yeah I'm gonna make good use of it over there. Also I have to learn how to use it for it so I have a couple of ideas of videos uh, that'll come in the next couple of weeks. Hopefully I get the motivation and the time to do them.
little bit uh, for grocery shopping and did a little bit of testing of this new camera. Uh, having a zoom and the ability to control the aperture compared to the GoPro is a total game changer. So I'm pretty happy about it. I still need to learn a lot probably. It's also, this little part is also to test the microphone, which is probably picking up all the cars and everything. So that's one of the biggest downside of this camera is to not be able to record proper audio because there is no audio input. So we'll see what it sounds like. It's probably not great, but I can still record my audio with the GoPro and use the footage that I film with that. I kind of, it's like, to me they're kind of complementary, like they, they complete each other. The GoPro is just like good for some stuff that would be harder or more dangerous to do with this camera and this camera is good to do stuff that the GoPro wouldn't be able to do. So yeah, uh, hope you like this video and I hope it's, I hope I get to do great stuff with this camera. So here, uh, more of a test in interior. Uh, for the microphone, it will be probably much better. So yeah, thank you for watching. Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny, and see you in the next one.